coupled with your plan, you should have an idea of what types of slides you might be using. Um, PowerPoint offers several slide variations. There are nine slide formats to choose from. Apply the appropriate design to the appropriate content. These are the slide types that are available. Carla's asking a great question. How do I make sure the image is the right size? Well, Carla, when you go to insert an image, you can resize it by clicking and dragging the tool, the side. So this is my image and I inserted it. On each side you will see these little dots and when you move your mouse it'll turn to a cross type shaped with arrows. That's for you to resize the image. So you will click and drag the size until it is where the size that you want it. You can play around with it. Um, sometimes when you import images they'll be really big so you just have to be patient and resize it to fit the image or to fit the slide. So you have nine slide choices to choose from. You have your title slide of course then you have title and content, section header to content, comparison title only, blank, content with caption, and picture with caption. So what you want to consider is, of course, you always have your title to begin it off. Then if you're doing a compare and contrast with two ideas, then I would suggest using a comparison slide. Um, it'll give you an area where you can put a title and then you can put your points. Lori is asking a question. If you need to be PC, the sixth IP annual this does specify sizes for pages. All right. So definitely, if you have specific sizes or specific requirements that you have to meet, please definitely follow those requirements. It's very important. So again, these are slide types. When you're considering your ideas that you want to present, think in terms of if it's if it's compare and contrast or is it just bulleting points. That's very important to remember. When you open PowerPoint, you will see across your top is a toolbar, and the main home toolbar is where the slides are located. So what you would do is you would click on the icon New Slide, click on the bottom portion, and this drop-down menu will appear for you. And then you can select the slides that you need and it, by simply clicking, and then it will appear on your page for you to use. So you'll just repeat that process. All right, slide arrangement is the next um, aspect to consider with your presentation. Um, your presentation begins with the title slide followed by an introductory slide that can either be another title slide or slide with, with facts. These slides following are all of your information. Choose the slide that best fits the information you are presenting. For comparison, use slide, the slide title comparison. For charts use with explanation, use the slide entitled with two content. So it really just depends on how you want to present your presentation, how you want to present your facts. Remember, you want to keep it relatively streamlined and easy to follow, but also engaging with the audience. So again, choose the slide that best fits the information. Again, it's just reiterating comparisons. In for comparisons, use comparison. Use the slide entitled Comparison. For charts with an explanation, use the slide entitled To Content. For picture with a caption, choose the slide entitled Picture with a Caption. So basically it's self-explanatory with slides. Use the one that best fits the content that you want to present.